Hey guys, Farmer Oz here. I'm just in the greenhouse today because there's a bit of wind kicking off. And uh, I'll show you around my plants that I've got going on in here. So behind the camera here, I've got some cucumbers. Right, I planted these about a month ago. They're growing really nicely. Um, I'm hoping to plant them on Sunday. Like my tomatoes, my aubergine, no not my aubergines yet, they still got a while to go. My tomatoes, some peppers, uh, cucumbers, and I've got a few courgettes. I'll show you my courgettes. Look, these are my uh, zucchinis. These are my zucchinis. Um, no, actually that's another cucumber. You can see because it goes up. So yeah, that's a cucumber there. And uh, my zucchinis are here. See? So I'm going to plant them. So, well, yeah, whilst the wind is kicking off, I don't really, I don't really like the wind. It dries everything out pretty quickly. Uh, and here we do get quite a lot of wind. So, I've got to be a bit vigilant on that because it, it affects the plants quite a bit. This is not great, but it's nature, so you can't really go against it. But I prefer it wasn't windy, but it is what it is, so I've just got to deal with it. So anyway, I'll show you around the greenhouse today. A little tour of the greenhouse. As you can see the greenhouse from this perspective. Uh, my greenhouse I've got, um, I think it's 10 metres long. And on the left side here I've got um, a row of uh, cucumbers. I've got five different varieties of cucumbers this year. Uh, so I'll start off with the ones I got planted next to the door. I got uh, these ones are called Darby Tirana. Look, they're pretty nice. They're going for it. As you can see, like I put a bit of string here that I attach to the ground, so that the cucumber grows around the string. Uh, it's pretty important to have a string so that the cucumber grows. Because cucumber likes to climb. It's a climber. It's a climber! Um, so you've got to put a good support in there. So here, here, these ones are, see I put a little thing here to tell me what the name of the uh, variety is. And this one's called Darby Tirana. So I've got three Darby Tiranas. Hoping they'll be ready, I don't know, giving fruit in the next month or so. Temperatures are, are pretty high now. In the greenhouse we're looking about 24, 25 degrees. So every day there's some good growth kicking off. Um, yeah, banging. Now I'll show you my other, I'll show you my other cucumbers that I've got going on here. So I've got these ones are cucumber early. See, look, there's a little reptilian thing there. Look, can you see it? Wow. a little. There's my little mates. Like I don't know if you could see it, but I got little lizards going on. I love them. A little bit of life. My pet lizards, got bare pet lizards around here. But anyway, um, these are the cucumber early variety. You can see they're really healthy now, they're looking good. Um, sometimes when I plant the plant cucumbers, tomatoes into the ground for the first week or two, they go a bit yellow. But I realise that's the time for the plant to adapt to the soil that it's been planted in. And within two or three weeks, you know, the plant adapts and does what it needs to do. So, um, my cucumbers here. Then I've got another one here. I've got only one of these ones. This is a cucumber hellwa. Hellwa! Hellfire! Hellfire cucumber! So, yeah, again, you see I've got a string. It's not, it's not big enough yet for me to wrap it around, so I'll give it time to do what's needed. Uh, then here I've got one cucumber here. This one is called the Market... Market Man 70. Remember that, Market Man 70. If you're in a marketplace or something you see cucumber market man 70 think about me so um this one as well you know looking good looking good so at the end of the greenhouse i've got uh i've got three here three small ones and these ones are bonobo cucumbers see i've got one here looks pretty good going for it they look, all look pretty healthy this one's kind of small here's my little dwarf of the cucumbers and there's another one here this one I haven't attached a string to because I've got a door here. I need to fix it somehow because when the wind comes it just opens. But it's been something I've been 
should be done about years ago but I haven't got around to doing so yeah I've got my line of cucumbers here um, thing is with cucumbers like you have got to water them very rigorously otherwise when they're fruit they become very bitter so I've, I water them about three times a day the more water for cucumbers the better it is otherwise like, you'll get bitter cucumbers you start eating them and they're not very nice so uh, that's the top tip for cucumbers make sure they're nicely watered to make sure they're nicely watered you just make sure you know the where they're planted the soil is kept nicely uh, humidified and you can see here that the soil's nicely humidified because it's uh, a bit more of a darker color when when I touch it it's um, humid and it's very important to keep the plants humid it's like us we need water so we give water to the cucumbers they do their job but look, it's a nice line of cucumbers I've got going here I love it uh, I'll show you quickly on the other side of the greenhouse uh, here I've got like two onions don't know where they came from but I've just let them uh, just let them grow I haven't even watered them and they're just going for it now look at this trippy trippy onion it's like a piece of art I know he's got a little brother here another two onions here out of place but I let them leave them there like you know I mean I'm planning on uh, putting some tomatoes here in uh, on Sunday because that's uh, the moon phase of uh, planting tomatoes so on Sunday I'll do a video for that for you guys uh, but here I've got, I've got already some tomatoes that I um, planted about a couple of weeks ago and they're looking healthy these ones see you've even got the blossoms coming out uh, this one's a cherry it's called cherry delight so it'll make nice little cherry tomatoes uh, next to this one I've got um, I've got a tomato this, this is the green zebra green zebra it's, just, uh, it's a magnificent tomato it's green it's so sugary it's so nice uh, I can't wait to share share with you when it starts to fruit and show you these tomatoes because they're banging so I've got two two tomatoes I'm planning on doing another line of tomatoes here as well uh, all in its good time um, here I've got a tray of uh, oh yeah yesterday was the day of planting uh, flower plants so uh, I did my marigolds I've got marigolds going on in here and uh, so yeah I'll show you another two tomatoes that I've got near the front of the greenhouse so here this one is called uh, Mary Auntie's Paste and I'm quite looking forward to making to growing these ones because I think they're gonna be useful for making tomato sauce and because I love my spag bowl my spaghetti bolognese uh, I'm looking forward to making my spaggy spaghetti bolognese with these tomatoes and then uh, here at the end uh, the front of the greenhouse I've got this little guy he's, a, he's called the Cuban Black so um, all in all it's kicking off nicely in the green ass uh, uh, it's a pleasure to be able to share it with you all because it's my passion and I love it and as I said before it's, I've been years doing this and I never got around to making a YouTube channel and uh, if any of you got any questions or want to ask me anything uh, Go ahead, I'm all ears open. Uh, for now, I'm going to say goodbye, peace out, and uh, thanks for watching. See you later.